So today we're going to revisit the idea of finding the difference between two means. We have a few more stipulations this time round to make use of the t-distribution. And that is that the population variances are unknown, but are actually known to be the same. So we're taking two samples from two different populations. The population variances are unknown, but we know that they're the same as each other. So let's just have a think about the variance. We know that the sample variance or our unbiased estimator of the variance comes in this form. The S of XX or the S of YY isn't the most useful numerator to have, but we have equivalents that we can substitute with. The S of XX, we've seen many ways to represent this, and we're going to go for the sum of the differences squared. OK, let's go ahead and write that into the fraction for S squared. So building on the fact or the assumption that the two unknown variances are equal to each other, we can find an estimate for that standard deviation. We know that when estimating a statistic, the larger the value of n, the better our estimate. So we can actually merge these together. We can combine them. We can pull these estimates of the variance. So instead of estimating two variances separately, we're actually going to pull it together to estimate one variance. Put all the data that we have into one calculation. OK, so we'll start by making the sum of the differences squared the subject. We can do that by multiplying across by n minus 1. So let's find the total of the sum of the squares of the differences for each of the samples. So we'll add these together on the left hand side. And this is the expression that we have on the right hand side. So this is very much the numerator that we would usually have when estimating the variance. We just need to divide by a sensible n value. Here we're going to divide by n minus 1 as the standard adjustment plus n for the second distribution minus 1. OK, this is the calculation for our pooled variance. And we can simplify that just a little bit. But apart from that, we're ready to go. This, this is how we're going to calculate the pooled variance. Here we have the standardization formula for the difference between two means when we have the pooled variance. This would also be the test statistic that we calculate for any hypothesis test that we do. I hope you can see the similarities between this and the standardization formula we would use for the t-distribution. We can simplify a little bit more by factorizing out the s squared. So then I end up with root s squared, which simplifies down just to s. So this standardization, this test statistic, is going to be modelled or can follow a t-distribution where the degrees of freedom are nx plus ny minus 2. So I hope you can see the similarities there uh, with some slight differences. When it comes to confidence intervals, although this looks more complicated than usual, it still follows the same format as always. So a way to talk about the mean, we call x bar minus y bar. A critical value, we're looking it up with the t distribution and c being the nx plus ny minus 2. We're going to multiply it by the denominator of the relevant standardization formula. Okay, so hopefully all of that flows and you're able to produce the confidence interval where needed.